Now we are up to the BR9 block. BR9 is a modified block, so I'm gonna to go to my booklet, and here is what my block looks like. Each of these little things look like a little Pac-Mans. So I've got two pieces and then a background piece connected to a curved background piece here. So I've got all my pieces laid out on my box, and they're all numbered, and they all have an arrow directional because I have a directional fabric. Now, you'll notice in your book that Jess and the Paper Pieces crew, when they did this, they had this and it would curve sideways. So what they did is they made their little Pac-Man and then when they go to attach this piece to the Pac-Man, that's the critical part because you have to make sure that this is parallel with this so you don't get this. So you're gonna find the center of this guy and then attach and find the center of this guy and attach it and she folds it um, because it's paper and to find the center and then attaches it from there so this would be your unit so what I'm going to do over here for my basting is I will do a straight baste on each side I'm going to be consistent with each of my little pie pieces if this is a pie piece because you got a round edge on the outside and the round edges I'm going to use a gathering stitch to do the inside curves I'm going to notch it and then make sure that I don't get too close to the paper so that I don't undermine the fabric when I go to attach it I want to make sure that I skip those little areas just make sure that I don't fray it while I'm there so I'm going to make my little Pac-Man unit and then attach this top to it and so we're going to have these units that like they made and they showed you in the book and then before I attach this to this I'm going to make sure that I find my absolute middle of both of these so I'm going to make these units and then before I attach the units into a triangle I will make sure that I find the middles of each one so I have basted the sides and done my gathering stitch on the top so I'm ready to assemble this unit to my little pac-man and then I will be able to attach this to complete this little section here. So I will assemble my Pac-Man first. All right, so I've got my Pac-Man piece all completed, and now I have to find the center of this piece. So I have a couple different ways to do that. I can fold it, put these points together, and make sure that these are going to curve together, because this is paper after all. And then I can fold it and crease it right there, which is probably the best way to do it. So now I know my center point. And then I'm going to take this piece is where I'm going to match it up. And I'm going to fold this piece as well. And I'm going to match these corners here. And I'm going to match these corners here. And then I'm going to make sure that this is in a straight line and crease it here on the bottom, the curved part. But it's such a, you know, you're gonna crease both of them. So I've, now I've got my spots that I need to match up. And so I will line these up and tape them and then make sure that these are gonna be connecting correctly. So I'm gonna take these now that I've got them marked and I'm gonna match them up and then tape them. I'm gonna tape my marks together and then I will put some stabilizing tape on each side down here and that way I will, um, and then I'll be able to stitch. Now, when I stitch, I'm gonna start here in the middle. I wanna make sure that I stabilize this exact point right here, so that, because this cannot move. So I've attached my Pac-Man to its upper piece. I've got my folds aligned here and I made sure that my points were where the there's a bulge, a slight bulge in this paper under the fabric where it matches up with this point. So I tried to match that up as best as possible. And the same thing over here too. So I tried to make this as, as you know seamless as I could. So I'm gonna set this part aside and then I'm gonna go on to this next section. Um, so I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna gathering stitch the edges of these and then I'm going to put these together in their Pac-Man unit and then I will find the centers of each of these 
and attach it like I did the last one. So I've got my second little Pac-Man unit done. And so I'm going to take this unit that goes on top of it. I'm going to match up my corners. That's not matched up. Right there. And fold this in half and crease the paper. So then I have a mark of where the center is. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold this in so that these seams match up so that I can find the center of this. And then I can match those points up and put that in so that it will be consistent with this line. So I've got the first two units completed. And so now I'm gonna take, now I've creased this earlier from, so I may need to recrease it to make sure I know where that is, but I'm gonna to need to have that marked. So that's why I creased it when I found it centered to this. So I got that marked. And of course, the center of this is this point. So you don't need to worry about finding the middle because that's the point. And this one I creased as well. So I'll have that for the next row. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up that crease to that point here. And then sew from the center out to the edge. Center out to the edge. So when you tape it, you wanna make sure that you're taping exactly this point exactly to that crease so that that way you've got it put exactly where it needs to go when I sewed this together as a reminder I stitched I, I found this spot marked with the middle and I stitched from here to the edge tied off and then I started here again and stitched from here to the edge that way I know that it stayed in the center so I am going to check, I'm going to tape this and I'm going to check my angle on the side to make sure that it's not deviating too much. Some deviation you can, you can suck up when you put it together with the solid triangles, but I wanted to um, make a note of that. So I've taped this and what I wanted to make a note of is yes, it's close to the edge, but when I get there, I want to make sure it does come to the edge here this lines up and that this lines up as well but I taped it right on this edge I wanted to make a note here though that this space right here this red space needs to be brought in just a little bit because this is where your growth happens so I want to make sure that this white part is exactly on this crease and then when I go to stitch it I'm going to stitch this in that little X minimizing that gap and any that will help this because this is a single piece of paper and this is a single piece of paper and this is a single piece of paper so if it's off the only place for it to be off is right in this point so I've taped it on both sides of this point and I'm going to do my little X stitch when I get started and then go to one side tie off and go to the other so I've attached the first and second units to each other and so I'm going to go on here and lay this on my triangle diagram just to see if it's in line with what it needs to be. And sure enough, the angle, if you see that dark line, I'll scoot it to the side. The angle is keeping on, and here is the bottom. So just so that I can see that line, it's hard to see. There we go. So it's, it's keeping in line what it should be kind of hard to tell at this angle. So what I'm going to do then is make sure that I keep this in line going up to the tip because this is where it gets wonky. If It's going to get wonky. All right, so next I'm going to move on to this little Pac-Man unit and I've got these basted. I just have to do the gathering stitch on every one of those pieces and then I will be able to assemble it. So I've finished my third Pac-Man and I've attached it to the other two and I was just holding this up here to check my angles and they look decent. So I will be able to move on to the last little bit here, the tip. So I've got 
this little tiny unit here and then these two. I'm going to base these like I did before, base these sides and then be able to do the gathering stitch on the edge and then notch the inside curve and um, base that down and as the last piece. So I'll base these other three and then base these down as the last piece. So I'll get this section done and then get that ready to attach to the main section. So this is the last Pac-Man section. These outer edges are gathering stitched and then they're basted it's just in the same fashion that I've basted all these other sections. And I have assembled this one and I'm going to now assemble this one to that. So I can attach these to each other and then once I attach this to here I'll be able to make this unit in the same fashion that I did with the other three and here's my notch so that I can center it on that point in order to ensure that it's at the right angle. I've also basted my other two pieces. This is the gathering stitch and that's I basted this long side first and then for the tip I did this side and then this side and then I did the notched made the cuts and made the notch so that I could get to that curve. So I've assembled my final Pac-Man unit and now it's a matter of putting it on the tip. I've got some tape on there already and I have the fold. I'm going to line up the fold to this point right here and I will tape it based on that and then I will start from the middle and stitch out and then going to go back and stitch out. I will tie off when I get to this point and so on and then I will be able to finish the point. So now I've got this last little unit on here and I'm going to check it to make sure that it is still lined up right. So my angle still seems to be good. Yay. Now I'm going to take this piece that I basted. I'm going to attach it to this piece. And then I'm going to actually I'm going to attach this to this first because I can ensure that it's in the right location and then what I can do is line this up with the piece or the, the, the diagram and that way I can know that my point is on the correct angle. So I will attach this to this and then this to this and I will be done. Okay so I've attached my last little curved piece and I'm going to lay this on my diagram and it's a little wider because of the paper and all that so and I'm going to take my tip, and I've already put a piece of tape on it, and then I'm going to line this up and then put the tape on so that I know where to adhere it to. So I will line this up and then I'll be able to um, stitch it down. So I've attached my point with my tape and double checked my angle and now I'm going to stitch this down. Now that I have attached the top piece, I now have a completed BR9 triangle.